New at 5.30, it was a buzzkill for one acreage woman who came home to find thousands of bees swarming around her home. News Channel 5's Jamel Lene reports from the acreage home. I'm in the backyard of Jane Ford's home here out in the acreage. And if you take a look over here at the board, you can see it's boarded up, but there are still a few of the bees that are hanging around. Now, that was not the case earlier. Thousands of bees clustered around this corner, turning Ford's home into their home, building a huge beehive. There's nothing buzzworthy about coming home from vacation to find bees moving in your home. I was like, oh my gosh. That's what happened to Jane Ford. She returned to her acreage home Monday with her grandson, RJ, after being away. Ford says she only saw a few bees before she left. That night I came back and I went out there with a flashlight wondering how the bees were doing and they were just, they were like, thousands of them. Ford calls in Tom's trapping service to help. You know, when he saw, he says, yeah, we need to get it down. I'm trying to get the majority of these bees out of the way before I start taking the cone out. Clusters of bees are safely vacuumed into the box. After removing the first panel board, How the heck? no sign of the queen. But moments after removing the second panel, bingo! McWaters finds the hive. Unfortunately, majority of the honeycomb was infested with hive beetles, making this sweet batch no good. But that's okay with RJ, who's ready for these bees to buzz off. They're pretty cool and pretty scary, but I'm happy they're going away. McWaters was able to temporarily put the panels back up until Ford can get them fixed, hopefully sooner than later, so no other critter moves in anytime soon. That's the latest here in the acreage. Jamel and A, WPTV News Channel 5. Now.